My fucking ears are ringing. Right. So, back inside the fucking shit then. I ran out of money to do mechanics, so I figured the best thing I can do is cut shit up. Flipping the camera. So the wall has been stripped out the foot. It's huge. Like, for a hatchback, it's massive. Anyway, didn't have the baffle space, so, in essence, what I'm having to do is chop the baffle, go into, have to cut the metal out, in here, and able to me to build down a couple of extra inches so I can have a port up top here. And then I have all of my subs on the front wall. It's going to be a fucking nightmare. However, this thing is a little bit of a godsend. 25 quid, Argos, just go. <laughs> Like that, pop line. Okay, so after about an hour and a half, I managed to actually get the fucking plate off in about four million different pieces. It's the joys of MDF. It gives you all kinds of lung cancer. And when you try and break it off anything, it just splits into a fucking oblivion. So now I get to use my lovely fucking grinder. At the moment it has a flapper disc in it and uh, it's not plugged in, which is very useful. Uh, oh, lighting's terrible here. To dig out some metal in and amongst all of my power cables. So, you know, might die. So this is what I was referring to. Fuck that out of the way. Here, if you look behind here, I had to dig this out by an inch or so. And then we've got this space here. We're only actually going to use, I'll only actually use down to about here for baffle space. I only need about an extra inch. Um, and then fingers crossed that'll give me all the height needed. But yeah, go hard or go home. <laughs> I bought the wrong size discs. <laughs> oh well. So naturally I've done what anyone in my situation should do. Remove the safety. <laughs> what would possibly go wrong? I can't spark the mod drive. I've come to the conclusion that after setting myself and the car on fire three times, this may not be a good idea. Jesus fucking Christ, this is a mission. Look at it. It's like being hot box, but not in a good way. Carried on. And with only nine or so small fires, we got pretty much what I wanted. It's ugly as fuck though. So although it doesn't look like it because of the chunk marks, that line is actually pretty straight through there. There you go. You can see it now. Gonna build some right angles, some little uh, housing sections over the seat belt as well, which the front wall will sort of sit around. Um, okay, so I chomp this bit out because then it enables me to sort of continue to, like this bit stepped can then step from here down, and then step from here down. Um, and the further I can come out with it, the more I can flap her away to get the basket in, if that makes any sense. It all makes sense when you see it happen, but it does make sense, because the, the bottom sub is gonna sit around about here. Which means that all this wood, or as much of it as I can anyway, has got to come out completely. Yeah. <laughs> 